War has been declared on the Second Amendment. War has been declared on the entire Bill of Rights, but we've always known, and our founders warned us, that when they come for the guns, you know your nation is in dire peril. That's why the founders called for gun control, and that's why I'm now endorsing it. No, not gun control over the people who are the source of liberty and justice, and wherever firearms are found, evil is restrained, as Thomas Jefferson said. No, I'm calling for government and the illegal standing army that is Homeland Security, a, a, a fifth branch of the military that admits its mission is to suppress gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, returning veterans, Christians. This is the globalist corporate takeover army. And they've used the fake pretext of terrorism to set this up. And now they're telling us, forget about Al-Qaeda. The new terrorists are domestic conservative gun owners who won't turn their guns in. They want to have a civil war in this country. That's their smokescreen to have a purge. And so I am calling for the standing army that is Homeland Security and the thousands of armored vehicles, the tanks, the helicopters, the two billion rounds of ammunition to be handed over to the Department of Defense, who has been very resistant in the last 20 years towards the RAND Corporation and the globalist uh, commands to become a domestic military. Everything the system has done is to condition us to accept this so that the globalists can fully implode the economy and accelerate their social engineering. America is under attack from within and without by the globalist. And I also call for collaborators like Dianne Feinstein, Bloomberg, Michael Moore, John McCain and others to relinquish their firearms to the local government and to declare that they are giving up their taxpayer paid for bodyguards uh, in the case of the senators and people like Mayor Bloomberg who has more than 15 people on his security detail. These people are unbelievable hypocrites who do not want you to be able to protect your family because they know the Second Amendment has become a beachhead of liberty. And these globalists are desperate that the public not learn of the FBI statistics that are collected from local governments across the United States that conclusively show since 1991, violent crime has dropped 49%. It's going straight down because gun ownership is going straight up. Gun ownership goes up, crime rates go down. It is a fact. And the system is panicking over that, that Chicago and New York and other places where only the government mafia has firearms are crime-ridden bastions of oppression. Think about it. We see a giant Homeland Security arms buildup and then we get their terror training manuals and they announce their new number one enemy is gun owners and people that won't turn their firearms in. This is an authoritarian takeover. This is an attempt to sell their purge against the American people. That's why we've got to use the First Amendment now like we never have before or we're going to lose this entire country. The globalists are coming in here testing the waters to see if they can sell the public on a civil war with Homeland Security as a standing army waging war against the American people who value the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and our sacred republic. Now in a moment, I'll get into their overall battle plan to disarm this once free nation. But first, I wanted to just show you a few of the hundreds and hundreds of clips that are online showing surveillance footage where different gangs of thugs come into businesses, come into homes, come into public places and attempt to rob and attack uh, the peaceful population. And where citizens stand up as true guardians of liberty and defend themselves and those around them.
Not only are the nanny state criminals desperate that you not learn that more guns means less crime, they're also scared of all the local newscasts every day in this country. There's thousands of these videos online showing citizens protecting themselves from vicious robbers, criminals, and rapists. They are scared of the fact that the common sense that we have a responsibility to protect ourselves is beginning to get out there. The globalist mafia wants you to be dependent, wants you to be a victim, wants you to be scared, wants you waiting 15 minutes for the police to arrive calling 911 instead of protecting yourself. That's what this is all about. Dianne Feinstein, Michael Moore, all of these people that have their own bodyguards are trying to smother the liberty movement. They're trying to shut it down. They know you're waking up to their nanny state tyranny. They know that you're aware of the fact that they have bodyguards. They know that you understand that they work for foreign banks that want to bankrupt and consolidate this country. And that's why they're desperate now to launch a full-out assault on the Second Amendment to destroy this country once and for all. You've seen what the globalist propaganda media spews all day. That if somebody commits a crime with a gun, all gun owners are collectively guilty because of that, and so we all have to be collectively punished. Pure authoritarianism. But if we're gonna talk about guilt by association, our founders said, you better keep government small, and even if you do, it's probably going to enslave you. So if gun owners are collectively guilty for what someone else does, isn't government collectively guilty? Our founders warned us about the danger of government. They said, you better keep government tiny and on a short leash, and even if you do, it'll be hard to keep your liberty. George Washington famously said, government is like fire, a dangerous servant and a fearful master. And did you know that if you cut out all the military deaths from the last century's wars and just look at government killing innocent people, lining them up and shooting them, starving them, you name it, it's more than 260 million people killed by government in what is known as democide. And so that is guilt by association. We know government is the number one threat in world history. And now tyranny has come to America and is telling us we need to turn our guns in. And we've got Dianne Feinstein famously smiling on television and saying, we're going to get our gun control agenda through, if not now, later, because there will be more incidences. These events are going to continue. And smiling. Oh, yes. Isn't it exciting to know how you're going to be able to use those dead children? Ignore the millions of kids killed by government after disarmament and just take those 20 and throw them in everybody's face. And she said she's seen the photos. She has the grisly details. They may release them. And Michael Moore salivates and says, release the photos of the dead kids. Destroy the Second Amendment. Destroy the NRA while he has bodyguards. And now he's saying Harry Reid wouldn't have voted uh, against taking the guns if he'd have had his grandchildren dead. If a, a man with an assault weapon goes in to the school where Harry Reid's grandchildren go to school tomorrow and kills his grandchildren, what w would he stand in front of that microphone at five o'clock and say, I know how Diane, you know, had to witness the mayor getting murdered, but I just, my grandchildren just got killed today, but you know, we can't get it passed because we just don't have the votes. Would he do that really? I don't think so. 
These people are salivating over the few massacres that happen so that they can collectively have us put on that guilt and turn in our firearms when we the people have lowered the crime rate with our second amendment by 49 percent and saved countless lives and brought countless criminals to justice and that's the big secret they don't want you to know about. So the answer in closing is get on the offensive. They're going to guilt us over guns. They're going to register our guns. And every time there's a new event, they're going to call for more restrictions and then confiscations once our guns are registered. And that's what they're pushing through the Senate right now. No more private sales where you can't even give a gun to your son or your daughter and where they can arrest you claiming you don't have proof of receipt of a 10 round mag. What's happening is the corrupt power structure is declaring war on gun owners. They're announcing all the different ways they're going to put us in jail for over 10 round mags or not having proof of where we bought a rifle, even though you have no criminal record. And if you were ever on Prozac or ever depressed, your guns are going to be taken. It is a nightmare scenario. If we can't trust the American people to be armed, then we can't trust the government to be armed. In fact, our founders said, trust the people to be armed, don't trust the government to be armed domestically, no standing army. And that's what Homeland Security is, is a fifth branch of the military operating domestically, and it is cancer. And it staged fast and furious as a false flag terror attack to blame the Second Amendment, but by the grace of God, they were exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, history is happening right now. We're winning the second American revolution in the info war. That's why the establishment wants to start a civil war by persecuting gun owners. We need to hold our fire in the second amendment range. We need to intensify our fire in the first amendment. Let's work as hard as we can to try to fix this peacefully. Please get this video out to everyone you know. I'm Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com. From my cold, dead hands. <laughs>